brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Heather starts this hour in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Heather. How are you? Well, I'm better than I deserve. Good for <laughs> you. I love it. How can we help? Yes. Um, so I'm just trying to come up with a good investment plan. Um, both my husband and I, we've been married now 20 years this month. And um, I'm always just trying to look for better opportunities to try to keep, um, you know, uh, investment up. And while we still kind of work, you know, job to job, we kind of work paycheck to paycheck. And so um, I have uh, Apple stock that I invested in many years ago. And I have a uh, good wealth since we've been in Apple stock. We have tripled since we started. And um, we also have two Roth R IRAs, each just only 6000 for him, 8000 for me. And um, we got about $20,000 in savings. And so I was trying to figure out, I also do have just um, a house that we just bought. Um, and so we're paying on that. And two cars is what we have. Uh, no other debt, just those things. And so I was trying to figure out in my mind what I could do with my savings instead of making it so unproductive, just sitting in the account. You know, I have only $20,000 in savings, but would it be best to pay off a car? Would it be best um, to uh, cash out the Apple stock? Because, you know, of concerns, they always say around election time specifically with the crash, they always talk about that happening. So I'm just trying to get a better idea because I spoke with my financial advisor and he suggested maybe money market funds. And I'm not very wise as far as financially. Okay. Um, money market funds for the 20,000. Yeah. He wasn't saying the full 20,000. He was like, you could start out putting 10,000 in money market funds, which like I said, I'm not very familiar with it. Yeah. Well, money market fund is a fancy savings account. It doesn't pay much. Mm -hmm. It's more than a bad savings account at a bank. It's basically a high yield savings account is what it is. So, um, mm -hmm. but it's still not paying big money. Now, here's the thing. What we teach Heather is that your most powerful wealth building tool is your income. Okay. Your income right now is going to two car payments. If you had those car payments going into investments every month, you would be building wealth pretty rapidly. Mm -hmm. So our first goal is going to be to clear those car payments. What do you owe on your cars? So, um, it's about, uh, 16,000 and 18,000. Wow. Okay. And you've only got 20. Mm -hmm. What's your household income? Right. Um, my household income is about a little over a hundred thousand. Good. Okay. A year. All right. Mm -hmm. So if I woke up in your shoes, we teach a process to get you to wealth by getting you out of debt called the baby steps. Baby step one is a thousand dollars in the bank. Now, how much do you have in Apple stock? What is it valued at today? If you cash it in 21,000. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This is going to jar your system. Can you hold on to your chair for a second? Because I'm getting ready to knock you out of the chair. Okay. Here we go. You ready, you ready for the ride? Ready, set, go. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> oh, my. Just be, right. be kind. Now, I'm going to be kind, <laughs> but it's going to scare the crap out of you. Are you ready? Oh, I'm cashing yeah. in the Apple stock and the 20000 and paying off my cars today. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> can, can you breathe? Well, of course, I mean... Now, that would be stupid if you don't do the next thing. <laughs> and the next thing is, the first thing you got to do now is rebuild your emergency fund, which is what that 20000 is. It's not supposed to make any money. It's supposed to sit there and keep life off of your head. Because life's going to come and land on your head, and you will need a helmet, and that's what the 20000 bucks is. It's the umbrella in the rain. Because some days it rains. So you need a rainy day fund. That's your 20000 It's not supposed to be making you a bunch of money. But right now we're paying off a car with it, so it doesn't matter. So the cars are gone. Any money that we don't have in a retirement Thank account. You. And you'll have 7000 left after that. Yeah. So I'm gonna, you'll still I'm gonna start, start your, your emergency start fund. Start your emergency that, fund. Which is great. I do want to set that over in a money market or a high yield, and I want you to get about 20000 back in there. That's your three to six months of expenses. That's baby step three. Now you don't have any payments and you've got that. So now we've got to start investing 
which is 15% of your income. That'd be $15,000 a year, 1100 bucks a month going in your company 401ks with a match in good mutual funds or sit down with your broker or get a new one and sit down and get your uh, your Roth IRAs going into good mutual funds. And Which I will want- be easy, Heather, because there's no car payment. To, to your point earlier, yep. And then you freed up so much income. Do you know what I mean? Month to month, Heather. And so those Roth IRAs that have six in one and eight in the other, you're going to start seeing lots of traction in that. And it's Yeah, you start a adding $1,000, $1,500 a month to your retirement plan, that's fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars a year, making a hundred grand. Then, um, and, and if you got a match at work, and these mutual funds go up this year, it would have made a little over ten percent this year, year to date. If you put it in January one to right now, you would have made ten percent on good mutual funds. And whoever's talking to you about a stock market crash, quit listening to those fools. Okay, stock market's not going to crash. It goes up and it goes down goes up and it goes down. In and election always, time, it is always crazy. There, there's yeah. always been stupid people in Washington of both brands. And there's still stupid people in Washington of both brands. Some Right now, some of them are more stupid than normal, but there's stupid people in Washington, okay? So that's never, that's not a new, that's not new information. No, but to her point, election time, people do, like things do kind of stall out. People hold, they watch, I know, they see. But you the know, stock so you may, market doesn't crash on election no, it year. Doesn't, no, it doesn't crash, but you're going to see a little bit of that volatility. And that's normal. You can go back to basically every election year, every four years, and you see the same thing. So it doesn't mean it's going to crash. But it yeah, goes up, it goes down. And you're in the right. You're in the right of it all. Yeah. So you just you ride just it ride, out. Ride, you're just dumping 1100 yeah. bucks, 1200 bucks a month. 1400 bucks a month, every single month, and automatically out of your check into your 401k with a match or into Roth IRAs. And, and Heather, and I think Heather, you're you're a prime example that so many people experience with their money. Honestly, you're trying to do like five different things. You got a single yep. stock here. You're trying to do some retirement. You got car payments. You have a little bit of money here, savings. And it's like, I, you feel so scattered versus clearing it all out and saying, boom, 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 boom. And then you can now tomorrow or after the emergency funds fully funded after that 7000 you can fully focus on retirement you have one thing to do at a time and that's what gives you power and less of this like bizarre feeling that you probably feel with your money yeah if you pay off the cars and have 7000 left over today by by the end of the year you'll have your 20000 and in january you'll start saving 15% from this point forward of your income going into retirement you'll retire wealthy if you'll do those things but you got to be on a budget to do it you got to be in agreement with your husband and no more borrowing on stupid cars. Stop it.